Then again, off for Drury. Chris Drury in over the Montreal line. He whips it around behind the net. Bennett holding it in there. Giving it to Codalique. Codalique for Newman. Got it down low. Newman put the shot at the side of the net. Rebound. Missed again. Scores! Maxima Pinagano banks it into the net. And Buffalo wins it in overtime. Wow. Buffalo with a two man advantage to start the overtime. Ooh, A made an unbelievable stop on Chris Drury. Drury alone to the right of the net was fed perfectly and Uwe got the right pad on it. Drury then put the puck back across the crease to Maxima Finneganoff and Finneganoff scores his second of the night. And Buffalo beats Montreal by a three to two score as Finneganoff scores on the power play. 30 seconds into the overtime period, an impossible angle. And Afinagenov either went in off the goaltender or off a Montreal defenseman. And Ryan Miller and Buffalo beat the Canadians here tonight. And Ryan Miller has now won six games in a row. Final score, Buffalo three, Montreal two. If we go to the extra session, Buffalo gets a five on three. And Chris Drury makes a lot of things happen here with the chip across to Finneganoff, and he banks it in off of Uwe's skates in the net, his second power play goal of the game. Well, watch this shot here, Bouillon, the little defense. And what, what, are you going to block this thing or not? You know, I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you get McKee in the same position, I'll guarantee you he would have blocked that shot. I mean, you have to be willing to almost die at this point. And especially the position that Montreal's in, and it was kind of, well, a block. No, I won't block it. Maybe I'll just stick my hand down. I mean, come on, get into the game here. There's a lot at stake. I think he curtsied on it actually. Curtsied, right? It certainly looked dress that way. on him.